this video we demonstrates how to set up your access point with multi SSID. We can set up multi SSID to separate wireless clients to different subnets. Here in this example, EP connecting to a router has multiple subnets and it is passing traffic via trunk port. We will configure EP900 and Vigor 2860 one by one. So let's configure Vigor 2860 first. Connect Vigor 2860 to a computer, open your web browser and log in to Vigor 2860. Here we will configure four LAN subnets with network address 192.168.1.0, and 4.0, all with subnet mask 255.255.255.0. To configure LAN 1, go to LAN General Setup, click on Details page, enter IP address, subnet mask and DHCP configuration. Similarly, we need to configure LAN 2, LAN 3 and LAN 4. At this stage, router does not allow to configure remaining LAN subnets as they are inactive. To make them active, we'll go to LAN VLAN configuration. Enable VLAN, we'll use port 6 as a trunk port, hence it will be part of all the VLANs. Now select LAN subnet, enter VLAN ID under VLAN tag. Now let's allocate remaining ports. Here we will keep remaining ports under VLAN 4 as untagged. Click OK to save the settings. After router restarts, log in to the router again and go to LAN General Setup and configure remaining LAN subnets. For that, first enable LAN 2, LAN 3 and LAN 4. Now check IP, subnet mask and DHCP settings for LAN 2 and change if required. Similarly check LAN 3 and LAN 4. Now we'll configure access point. Connect EP900 to a computer. You'll need to use static IP to a computer to access EP900 as DHCP server is inactive by default. Now go to LAN General Setup and disable DHCP Client. Ensure that DHCP server is turned off so that all IP addresses will be assigned by Vigor 2860 only. Then go to Wireless LAN General Setup, enable Wireless LAN, uncheck Enable to subnet option and configure four VLANs with different VLAN ID as set on the router. Enter SSID name for them. Now go to Wireless LAN Security. For each SSID, select an authentication mode, WPA algorithm, and enter passphrase. OK to save. Also set key renewal interval to 3600 if not set. Both devices Vega 2860 and EP900 are now configured. We will connect LAN port number 6 of 2860 to EP900 through a network cable. Now we will test the setup. From laptop, 
go to wireless and try to connect SSID one by one and check IP addresses. Wireless client getting IP address according to the SSID it connects to. Hence only one LAN physical connection between router and EP can pass the traffic for all VLANs. You can also enable inter-LAN routing under LAN general setup to allow communication among four VLANs. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, you can go to www.dratech.com.au or send us an email to sales at dratech.com.au.